There are a couple ways to do this question. We could definitely make equations and solve that system of equations, and I'll show you how to do that at the end, but um, this is one where I'd probably want to guess and check. Um, I know we don't have answer choices, but that doesn't really stop me from guessing and checking here. We're talking about the product, meaning multiplication, of two positive integers. So I am kind of limited in what things can be. They have to be 462. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, if I just like cut 462 and I kind of like took the square root of it, for example, like what two things would multiply to it? I can just do that in my calculator. The square root of 462, so the square root of 462 is 21.5 roughly. But I realize that there's a relationship between there. Just one is five greater than twice it. So I'm kind of just like, all right, I'm not going to pick 21 and 21. I'm going to pick like random things. So I might just do like, okay, what if one of the integers was 15, right? So if the first integer is five greater than twice the second integer, right? So the first integer is five greater than twice the second. So um, this is kind of, I'm writing this kind of stupidly, but let's actually make some more space here. Right, so we have the first integer and the second. The way this is phrased, the first integer is five greater than twice the second, as stupid as this is, I'm, I'm picking the second integer because that's the one that's kind of like simpler. So the first integer is five greater than twice the second. So twice 15 is 30, five greater than that is 35. So now I'm just looking like, okay, what's the product of those things, right? The product, the multiplication. Calculator, right? 35 times 15 is five 25. So that's kind of high. So maybe let's lower it. Let's maybe go down to 10 for a sec, right? So the first integer is five greater than twice the second. So twice 10 is 20, 25. What does that give me? Well, that one I don't even need to do in my calculator. That's 250. So I'm way too low, right? So let's, let's go back up. Let's maybe go to 14, right? So five greater than twice the second. Twice 14 is 28. So 28 plus five is 33. Right, so notice how I'm doing all this in my head. I guess I could write stuff for you guys, but for me, the benefit of guess and check is I don't need to. 33 times 14 is 462. So I'm done. What is the smaller of the two integers? It's 14. Done. So in this way, I don't need to really worry about making equations. I'm able to kind of just like work through it one piece at a time. I'm able to kind of think about it more in terms of arithmetic than algebra. So I, I like this method, but I think the hardest thing for many of you is gonna be making sense of this. I just think that that phrase is hard to read no matter what. And, and you, you know, we do need that skill of being able to read words and turn them into math. And so for me, I've got a lot of practice with this, but it makes sense. It's, it's not hard for me to think about. But if we wanted to make equations, we could, right? So the product of two integers is 462. So that means we're going to have like an xy equals 462. Then if the first integer is five greater than twice the second. So that part you might just be able to be like, okay, five greater than twice the second. So one of them is twice the second plus five. Right? And we could have written it the other way. We could have done y is equal to 2x plus 5. It doesn't matter. The point is, either way, at the end, I am going to worry about which one is the smaller and larger. I'm not going to like try think, oh, the x is the first integer and the y is the second. None of that matters to me. That's maybe the benefit of kind of thinking of it this way. And then for, uh, um, for simplicity's sake, I'm not going to go to um, my um, algebra skills to solve this thing. I'm just going to put it in Desmos. So x, y is equal to 462, and x is equal to 2y plus 5, and now i got to scroll around, but there's going to be some sort of intersection. There it is, and we get the point 3314, which, what do you know, is exactly what we had before. And then again, what do they want? They want the smaller integers. I'm not interested in which the x is, which the, what's the y. I don't, I don't care. I just, 14 is smaller than 33, so that's that. Um, so I don't know. Um, I'm curious, you know, put it in the comments for me, please. Uh, if you did this, uh, which way did you use when you did it on your test? That's that's one thing I'm curious about. Uh, I'm curious, did that way work? But I'm also curious, um, now that you've seen both methods, what feels more doable, especially if you're not really confident in math, if you're not like a top, you know, I understand math intuitively kind of person. What do you like to do to be able to get through something like this and still get those points? Is it easier to just kind of buckle down and write the equations or is the guess and check allow you to think about it in a much more intuitive way that gets you some answer without having to go to X's and Y's? Um, I'm curious, put it in the comments. I'm, I'm just curious how people think about this.